today has been an exciting day uh, where we have just announced the winner of the Paraiso Swim Upcycle Challenge. And the reason why this challenge is so important, this project makes such a difference, is between it unites two very important key aspects of the fashion industry, sustainability and mentorship. Without each one of these two, nothing could be possible looking into the future where we have to be more accountable and definitely we have to find a way in which we can be authentic in our creative ways but also sustainable and responsible. I'm doing the master's program in fashion and luxury brand management and today my inspiration is 1970s California, very retro, uh, roller skating on the boardwalk, beachy hair, uh, like Farrah Fawcett, so I'm very excited and um, my mentor was Beach Riot, so I'm very excited to show today. My inspiration for my designs was the 1970s, Pat Cleveland, Edie Sedgwick, Jane Birkin. I wanted to embrace that glamorous era, but still also that cool girl aesthetic while keeping the DNA of GGC bikinis. Um, the designs of the bikinis you'll see, it's very fun, very 70s, but very timeless. So it's a purple two-piece, and then we also did a surf suit to embrace the DNA of GGC bikinis with some fun ladies or cutouts and a really high cheeky in the back. Mario Braghieri, the director of the fashion design program at the Instituto Marangoni in Miami. Today we are uh, running the Upcycle Challenge. So we have five brands that donated the, the leftover material to our students and uh, we created a mini collection of 10 outfits. Uh, two by two, uh, the outfits are connected with the brands and um, you will see soon in the video the results of our effort. I was really inspired by Greek um, sculptures and Greek drapery and I decided to take that idea and take it and spin it into a new and modern way. Swim week has been so much fun. It's been a crazy day. We've been preparing the models, doing everything, but it's looking really good and I'm super excited. My name is Nicole Lieb and I had the pleasure of styling almost all of the Marangoni students and the grad students' designs. I think the show went amazing, everyone was so on point, everything was on theme, makeup, hair, everything was amazing, more than I ever expected. My inspiration was animal, since I was a kid I had this dream to grow up a cheetah, which wasn't possible, so I decided to hand print my fabric as a cheetah print and a zebra print, and hope you guys like it. So that is my second year in Marangoni. Um, I had pleasure to work with awesome people, awesome teachers, and I have to give more credit to Amy that's been there for me all time, every hour. So. Soy del Instituto Marangoni, Miami. Estoy súper emocionado de estar aquí. Básicamente hicimos una colaboración con la marca colombiana Maya aquí en Paraíso, donde nos enviaron telas que habían usado en colecciones pasadas y el reto básicamente era reinventarlas y volverlas a usar y hacer que se vieran totalmente modernas. Yo me inspiré en lo que sería la contaminación de los plásticos en las playas de Miami y también hay un problema muy ignorado que es todas las algas que están llegando a nuestras costas debido al cambio climático en el mar. Entonces yo también quise inspirarme un poco en lo que sería el color de las algas, las texturas, para mandar este mensaje ecológico de cuidar nuestra, nuestro planeta y nuestras playas y también con este toque divertido que la cultura colombiana nos aporta con Maggi. Hi, my name is Clark. 
York. I'm the owner of Sammy. Uh, my inspiration is to make clothes that can be worn by all people, regardless of gender. So the whole line is unisex, you can call it, or no gender. Um, and I'm really inspired by just making things that I love to wear myself. Colors, silhouettes, the feelings of the fabrics. And I'm really excited to be here at Paraiso. Uh, Miami Swim Week this year, I think, is just on fire. The energy is really great. Paraíso tent has been my dream since I was little to do this. The inspiration behind this collection is an earthly element mixed with a Miami sexy touch. So let's see it happen. all these students, all these collaborations, all these pairings of young students and established designers using desktop fabric to create new pieces, innovative pieces. Some of the students had never created a swimwear. So you can imagine how challenging it was for them and how exciting at the same time. We had three exciting judges, Sports Illustrated, Anthropology, and Bloomingdale's, uniting the chain of fashion, from the production, from the creativity, to the sustainable practices, and also to the buyers, the audience, and the market. So I am only excited about the next challenge for these students and for the future generation of designers that will probably make a difference not only in this beautiful city of Miami, but also in a fashion industry. Thank you.